Hello, everyone. Jenna, I guess I should have taken that down before I uh, turned on the camera. I didn't realize it was going to be in the view. I thought I marked this so everything would be. But anyway, it's what I got Wednesday. And I don't know why my camera keeps pulling. Sorry. So, hello, my sweets. It's Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining, and I hope you consider subscribing. Today, I am doing uh, What I Got Wednesday, which, um, What I Got Wednesday. It's a haul video. The slide is kind of blinding me. Sorry if there's a glare off of my glasses. So I hope everyone's doing well and you've had a great week so far. And um, if you're out there, say hello. Let me know you're there. Hey, Miss Linda, how you doing? Like my new hair piece? <laughs> I feel like a, like a, I should be wearing some pearls and a hat or something. Um, troubles in the house. Thank you. <laughs> troubles in the house. Get that out of the way. Hello, Miss Janet. How are you doing? Oh, trouble. You're trouble. <laughs> You know, um, when I was growing up, um, we had some neighbors and they had a schnauzer and a cocker spaniel, if I'm rem remembering correctly. Um, and they were named Pebbles and Trouble. And those dogs used to chase us up to, I was so afraid of them. And I don't think I should have been, but you know, they would always chase us anytime we came out. And you'd hear the mom come out, Pebbles, trouble, get back here. But anyway, <laughs> um, I went to, this week I went to, um, mm, thank you. I'm a little, <laughs> thank you, D. Um, D is here. If you guys don't know, she's so crafty. Make sure you check out her channel. She is amazing. Amazing with the stuff that she does. Um, yeah, I got this little, um, it was a, what are those things from Amazon? Amazon deal. It's like five bucks. Let me scoot down a little bit. So it's a little poof and then it has bangs to it. I was like, let me try that out. So <laughs> I could smooth my edges a little bit, but other than that, um, yeah. It's just you guys. It's not a hot date or anything. Um, so I think what I'll do is I will start with Home Depot since that's the smallest. And I do have um, a couple of things for crafts if you guys want to join along with me. Hey, Miss Sheila, how are you doing? Um, I've been watching... I think her name is Sarah at Tenderfoot Village. And um, she's been, she's really inspired me to try some uh, gnomes. So I went and picked up some of the stuff that she uh, works with. Now these are hex nuts. I'm gonna hold it up a little bit close. And I think this was, Five. It wasn't more than five dollars. I wouldn't have spent more than five dollars for this bag of uh, twenty-five. And then these were like forty-three cents a piece. And these are a hex nut too, and these are the five-eighth inch. And of course, whenever, whenever I do the actual DIY, I'll have this stuff listed in my description box. So if you want to redo it, or if you have, you know, something else that you could use in place of it, I just wanted to do it like how she did it. So, um, this is just 
This is a new item, tight bond. I've never used this before, but um, I do use a lot of wood glue and I'm almost out of the Gorilla Glue and I don't remember seeing Gorilla Glue, so I um, picked this one up to try at Home Depot. Um, also, I found this, I don't know why I was really drawn to these and these spray paints. The cans are just, I don't know, they're beautiful to me, but I got a white flat. It's a primer plus paint and a black flat primer plus paint. And um, I've used the black so far and I like it. It's quite odiferous, but what spray paint isn't. Um, but um, level three. Oh, maybe I should go back and get that. Um, Cause I love, <laughs> I love going in Home Depot. Um, but those were like, $5.98 uh, by Bear. They were $5.98. And I only could see white and black in flat or in gloss were the options that they had at, at the store that I went to. Um, also got this Gaps and Cracks, which is that foam stuff that you spray in the gaps <laughs> and cracks. <laughs> um... I saw another thing um, on like a fake bake, so I want to so I want to try that. Uh, wear gloves with the fake with the gaps and cracks. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Um, and also, I just got some wood screws. Um, okay, definitely, I have gloves because. I'm a weirdo when it comes to um, meats, <laughs> touching raw meat, so I wear gloves. And I also got um, this, and this is just because I got, where's the bag? I got some succulents at Home Depot, and I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see those or not. Now I can't find the pot, so I'm looking like a hot mess right now. Oh. I got I got one of these, Roscoe the raccoon. So I got some succulents at um at Home Depot, and then I thought these don't have holes in them, so I got this to drill the holes in them. So it's um I don't know if you guys want to see that, but. I got that one, and I got Norris the Norwal, Narwhal, Norwhal. So that, and I have um, the porcupine. No, 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 the hedgehog somewhere. Um, my son is particularly interested in that, so. Yes, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you. It's a glass um, and tile bit through uh, Rye OB. And I honestly don't remember, um... <laughs> right? I need to, <laughs> I need to build a house. Um, yeah, these are specifically for glass or tile. Um, <laughs> that'd be really cool actually. So the next spot that I went to, <clears throat> excuse me was Michael's and from Michael's I got these two cute little gingerbreads and um I just these are just so adorable to me and there weren't that many left so I got scared to wait so I just grabbed two and they were $1.99 each I don't know if they were on sale or not of course I don't know where my receipt is um, I got this, this was this cone, it was on clearance, so I'm going to find something to do with that. Why are you taking back all your messages? 77, I think this was 77 cents on clearance. Um, oh, my receipt's right here. Yeah. They were one... 
And you know, I couldn't get my coupon to, um, I couldn't get my, my phone to load up right in Michael's, so I didn't get to use a coupon. And they, the girl sure wasn't offering. I also got these. This is a six piece of foam circles and they are 2.4 inches. Um, these are to work also with the gnome. Um, so that's that. And then I got, I wanted, I wanted um, orange too, but they, they were all, they were fresh out of orange. Fresh out, I'm sure. So I got the, I thought the colors were on there. Maybe not. Okay, so this lime greeny color, which is one of my favorite colors, black and purple. Um, I looked in Dollar Tree to see if they had any any more tool. They were fresh out too. So I didn't get any um, Halloween tool from the Dollar Tree that I went to. So next, let's throw that to the side. Let's do more Halloween stuff. So <laughs> I got two of these little uh, wig <laughs> wig pieces. I don't know how it's gonna work out yet. It's not. It's uh. I wanted to use it for a project. I got a black one and a white one, and they're 22 inches long. Um, you know, we like those 22 inch pieces. What are they called? Bundles. A 22 inch wig. Um, these are also, I got these. This is for the gnome. So it's the little baby shoes. You know, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> do you caught that one? <laughs> we like them 22s. <laughs> um, these are the baby shower shoe favors. Um, oh, good. So um, you'll have those ready to go because I didn't even realize. Um, they had these at Dollar Tree. I think I vaguely remember seeing blue ones once. And, <laughs> you're cracking me up. Um, but then I hadn't seen them for a while and I thought the other day when I went, I said, you know what, I better look and see if they have them. So I got two packs of these. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I got these for the boys. I thought these were really cool. Yeah, I, no I noticed like some blue ones one time. Where were they? They're actually near the bridal section, party section type area, like right in between those two. But I got um, the DC. They only had this one and I think the other one is Iron Man. And um, I thought the boys would like the Batman one. I know Little, my nephew, I call him Little. Little would is really into Batman, so um, I had to get two because, you know, they don't share. And, um, yeah, the yes, ours is on the other side. I got of the, the toys are on the other side of the uh, bridal section. Um... Yes, they are. I didn't realize, but that's what that's what I wanted to do um, a DIY. Um, little is four, and my son is four, but little's gonna be five in November. Mine just turned four in July. So, and my son's name I don't know if I ever told you guys. His name is Harrison, um, but I call him either Sunny or Papa. So. <laughs> That's that. Um, so I got a black pillowcase 
and that's for yes they're very close in age very um and then these black uh sparkly socks and this is for an upcoming diy as well harrison yes i love that name and whether he was a boy or a girl the name was going to be harrison so um it's a <laughs> it's a family name um thank you well my <laughs> my nephew um my <laughs> I one of them is my nephew and the other one is is uh, my son but boy when those two get together it's it's nuts it's nuts <laughs> so I got this also I'm gonna be using this with the gnome I thought this would be a cute part of the outfit it's gonna be like a Betsy Johnson um Betsy Johnson type situation does anyone know Betsy Johnson? Please tell me you do. And then these are for, oops, upside down, for the gnome as well. So I thought these were good coordinating colors together. <laughs> yes, it's a really fun print. Um, and then I got these. I probably should have just gotten regular rubber bands and I don't know what I was thinking, but I like these to go around my um, ribbon after I cut the plastic off of them. I Obviously, I buy my hair. I don't have enough really to put into a, a <laughs> right now. So um, that's what I use these for at the moment. And I like the ones without the metal stuff on them. But probably a bag of rubber bands would have... True, these will last longer. So, <clears throat> that's that. Let's see, what else? Oh, okay. So now, I got these cauldrons, but they aren't for Halloween, they're for Christmas. So, um... You know, if you have some in your stash, great. If you want to pick some up or see what I'm going to do and then decide later on. Dang it, I should have gotten those. Um, but yeah, some cauldrons. And let's see. I just picked up this chain. Again, this is one of those things that I don't have an actual idea for, but it's good to have it. Oops. It's good to have it in your stash. So it's just the plain chain. And I think uh, if you remember, I had gotten a, just the um, hand, I think they're handcuffs last time. Oh, actually I picked up two. So I have two of those. And I think that's it for Halloween. So now we're on to Christmas. My favorite, oh, we have a general. A couple of generals first. I actually found air dry clay. It's, uh, I'm guessing it's this color. This like terracotta color, but <clears throat> I did find air dry clay at Dollar Tree, which I was pretty shocked about. But yeah, no kiln, no oven, dries hard, paintable when dry, easy to smooth. So we'll see how that goes, um, probably starting next month. Yes, I only found the one. Um, it was sitting there, it wasn't even in the right box. When I found the right box, the right box was completely empty. So I was really lucky to find just that one. Um, and I found these, these are the cutest. I'm sorry, I got excited and jumped the gun. Um, it's, uh, felt stickers, um, and they're little gingerbreads, and the boy has the green bow tie, which I love that green, and the girl has a green, uh, bow in her hair. Let me see if there's a girl in front. There's no girl in front. 
I'll just open it. So this is what the girl looks like. Um, and I think it's just adorable, all the little details they put on this. The little cheeks and the pink heart buttons. And then for the boy, they have the cute little bow tie. And... Um, the cheeks and the buttons. I just thought the detail was really nice on them this time around. I have some from last year that I made little ornaments with for uh, the tree. And they had yellow bow ties and I ended up painting all of their little, their little uh, bow ties red because I didn't really care for the yellow they used. I wasn't sure why they even used yellow, but they didn't ask me, so. Um, I found these cute bottle brush trees, and I haven't seen these before. I had heard that Dollar Tree carried them, but um, I had never seen them up until now. So I went ahead and got two packages of them. So eight come in a pack. I think 16 is plenty. And uh, so yeah, I got two of those. And then I found one of the gingerbread houses. I'm so excited about this. I only found the one. I know there's two different ones, um, but I only found the one. And I just got one because I'm not trying to um, hoard things that I don't necessarily <laughs> need. But I just, I thought this was so adorable. So hopefully, if I go to another store, I'll be able to, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, find uh, the other style. And then I got some Buffalo Snow. I prefer this one over the um, little styrofoam ball things. Um, yes. Wouldn't that be cute together, Jean? The little gingerbread people in the house. I'm so excited. But I like to use this, like if I'm gonna um, sprinkle this on stuff, I like to add a little bit of Epsom salt too for a little texture and um, a little shine too. So um, <clears throat> that's usually what I do with that. And sometimes you can throw in a little glitter if you like. The holidays are about glitter. Now, I found one of these, which I'd never seen them in, oops, sorry, it's upside down. I'd never seen them in my area before. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's one of those unicorn things. Like, if you see it, you better get it, otherwise you may not see it again. So, I got one of these 3D wreath forms. Um, actually, there was only one of this size, which it's a 14 inch. And then they had one of this 10 inch. So, no, I'm sorry, I lied. They had more, but I only got one of these. So, cause I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do with it. Um, so I only got the one of each. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you guys. You guys. Look at these. Let me hold them up good. Look, just look at these. If you're into farmhouse, this is like, this is already there. I'm not even going to do anything with this one. I'm just going to put this one up. This one, this one's to DIY with. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but, um, oh, you haven't seen them? And I only got the one, there was only the one, really D. I'm so shocked because like, I find that, I feel like other people in areas, other areas find get stuff um, quicker than I do. Hi, Miss Carla, how are you doing? So, yeah, I thought this would 
this one I know for sure because I decorate my living room for Christmas. One side is for the boys, which is the gingerbread theme. Well, it's kind of for me too because I really like the gingerbread theme. And then the other side is like a rustic farmhouse. So I thought this would be cute. And then maybe I could do uh, this one into uh, gin some kind of gingerbread theme I thought would be really cute. So we have those. And we wanna stick with Christmas. Sorry, this stuff is getting farther and farther away from me. So I was able to get um, you saw the house, the house snow globe. I missed the comment. I need to, oh no, cancel. I, I don't know how to get the comment back. So I'm sorry, but I'll, um, oh wait, we can't even go back in. You know, that's one thing if YouTube asks me, which I'm really bad about this anyway, is replying to comments, but it'd be nice to be able to, like if I, did it um, to be able to reply to your your guys's comments um, I got one of these ornaments anyway I got one of these big ornaments um, I don't know why I didn't get to but you know hopefully they'll still be there when I finally get back I also was able to find the Mary, which I thought this was super cute with the Y as the deer head. It's super cute. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but you know, you just get these things when you see them. So <laughs> I thought that was really cute. And then this is a repurchase for me and I'm not really sure why <laughs> I got them because I'm thinking in my head like, I already have, well now it was four of them, but I turned them into two trees. Um, so it's just the white tree. Um, I was thinking today maybe I should do a Halloween tree, but I don't know. I don't know yet. Halloween's like, what, 32 days away? 30, 31 days away? 31 days. Today's today's the 30th. So if I'm going to do it, I need to do it, right? <laughs> Another repurchase. You guys know I love my spackle. So I got three of these. And um, it's another one of those. We're going to try out fake bakes uh, for the uh, Christmas holiday season. Yeah. Yeah, um, for some reason last year I was hard pressed to find green trees. And this year, the first thing I saw was the white trees and I'm like, please not again, a shortage on the green trees. And I heard another, um, sorry, I heard another person that was doing a haul, she found an iridescent tree, which I thought was, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. An iridescent tree, which I thought that must be really pretty. Like, I would love to get my hands on some of those. That I think that would be really cute with the gingerbread theme. So hopefully those come to, to my area. Seems like Texas always, or at least in my stores. I don't, I don't know about anywhere else in Texas, but it seems like in, in my area. We don't get a lot of good stuff. So the other last thing I got, oh wait, there's something else in this bag. Oh, I got some, um, some of the, I call them cheapy glue sticks. Um, I was really, okay. I, I see a lot of things on Facebook and I'm, I really like those, um, Yes, I put two of the trees together. To, oh, to create a swag. Hey, that's a cute idea. Mm, I like. 
I forgot what I was thinking. Oh, the glue sticks. I really wanted to do the pool noodle candles, but I don't think I'm gonna do a tutorial on them, but just because there's so many out there. But if you see it show up in pictures, I'm telling you now, I'm probably not gonna do a video on them, but I did get the cheapy, um, right? <laughs> I did get the cheapy um, glue sticks for that. So, and I have a little glue gun that I haven't used in a while that I could use it, do, use it with. I also got a binder um, just for, um, I have a lot of like things like a, a ring light, um, the stand that I have my phone on, but you get all of these little bitty, um, like, what's this for? I have a grow light here for my succulents. Like these little things, I'm gonna put them in a divider thing and just stick them in this binder. Cause otherwise they're, it's okay. Thanks for joining Carrie. Um, to stick them in this binder so they're all in one place. Cause right now they're just sitting in a pile next to me and I'm trying to get organized. Um, so, yeah, that's essentially what I got. Um, yeah, that's everything I got. Uh, I could bring over if you guys, do you guys want to see my, um, the succulents that I picked up? My new little babies. Here we got a yay, an A. my little pots all right bring it I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. So, I still need to um, repot them. This one is called uh, Hawarthia. If you look at that, look at how pretty that is. The leaves are almost, they almost look like uh, iridescent almost. I, I don't know, like the skin, I don't even know how to describe it, but when the light hits them, it's just, it's just gorgeous, but it's called Hawarthia. And this was like, oh, I don't have the Home Depot receipt. I think it was three, three something. Here is an Echeveria, Echeveria, Purpusorum, purpusorum. I don't know, I guess that's like purple. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought this one was really pretty. I don't know, did the light help or no? So, I don't know, I think since this, you know what, it reminds me of water beads. I, I bet you this one would look really good in um, Norris the Norwal. What do you guys think? Like if you look at them, let me bring the light over more because it's almost like the leaf is kind of like translucent. Do you see what I mean? Is that picking up? I don't, I don't know. I must be wacky. But I love, I love, I love succulents. Um, I got this jade plant. It's called lemon lime. I just love this variegation on it. This one's really pretty to me. And then this guy here, this was a repeat buy. 
I didn't realize this one is the Portolacaria afra variegated, also known as the uh, elephant bush. And this is a rebuy because I accidentally killed uh, the previous one. And so I had to try to redeem myself. <laughs> I know I'm trying not, that's why this one's inside now underneath the grow light. Cause I think the Texas heat was like, <laughs> just snapped it up it just couldn't handle the texas heat and i didn't realize that it was it it was like pretty much dead by the time i realized it so i tried to save it but it was no use so i went back and i got this one uh the other day so um he might look good in roscoe i think yeah so those are my newest little babies. And um, I know, knock on wood, I remember you sent me that picture of yours, the, the um, elephant bush, and I was like, mine doesn't look like that. <laughs> it's like, mine's D-E-D -E -D dead. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so I'm trying to... I just wrapped up uh, doing a video today. Um, I just need to take pictures. So I would like to try to get it out for tomorrow, but it all depends. You do, uh, D, succulents are easy. They're hard to kill. And obviously I tried really hard and I killed, <laughs> I killed it. But um, Echeverias um, and Haworthias, are really good for beginners um right most people water them too much i think i honestly didn't water it enough for the fact that it was outside in the blazing heat which i mean in my defense it is south african and i'm pretty sure it's like super hot in south africa I'm just saying, <laughs> maybe not Texas hot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, so I am, yeah, it was super direct, son. Super direct. Um, yes. It's houseplants, terrible. And now I'm trying to figure out, D, I'm trying to figure, maybe I should message you, but I'm trying to figure out what to do with my strawberry plants. Because, you know, those are brand new. And yes, it was, D. Those are brand new and they didn't produce anything this year, which I didn't really think they would. But now I'm like, what do I do with them? I mean, I'm kind of in a milder climate, so I don't think I need to do like some big overwintering operation but I'll message you <laughs> um, so that's it we're doing the Jamaican goodbye right now like I'm trying to wrap it up but I'm not really trying to wrap it up so <laughs> let's see um oh See, mine are just on a patio um, because I'm in an apartment. So uh, we haven't had any trouble. The only thing that I would worry about is like possums or squirrels or um, what's that other raccoon? Raccoon. Oh, just put straw over it. Hmm. I'll have to see where I can find me a little bit of straw. You know, they always want you to buy this like ginormous thing and I'm like I only need a little bit can I just <laughs> you guys are about to can I just open the package and take a little bit out of Dollar Tree <laughs> right. I need to go get some of those little straw straw bales I think I have one <laughs> Uh, 
Hi, Cece. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. Yes, the mini bells. I think maybe I should go see if I can find some because sometimes they want you to buy this everlastingly big thing. And I'm like, I just need a little bit. Like, can you just give me a bag of it? Like, <laughs> I, uh, I have the bag. Like, <laughs> can you just do that for me? Thanks. I'll pay you. I just, I don't need that big thing. So, um, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I just, <laughs> the thought just came back to me what I was saying. Um, I just wrapped a video for Halloween. So I'm going to try to get it edited and um, I'm hoping to get it done tomorrow. But if not, uh, maybe what's wait, today's Wednesday. Maybe Friday. Maybe Sunday. But I don't know. Anyway. Um, that's it for me, and we're coming up on 41 minutes. Um, so, if you don't, is, if you don't, does anyone have any questions for me before I say bye? These are always fun. I think I should go shopping more just so I can, no, that's not a good idea. Um... Thank you so much, Amy. I enjoy chatting, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm a chatter. And, you know, I stay home with my uh, four-year-old. And um, so this is, like, some interaction for me because he, he doesn't really talk. I mean, I talk to him, but, you know, there's nothing like adult <laughs> communication. <laughs> I'm a really big chatter. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the DIYs that I have coming up. And um, yeah, that's it. Adult conversation, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> I know, I've been so lonely. My friend's been with her hubby. <sighs> hubby. Uh... <laughs> and your dogs just don't get it. <laughs> yeah, so this is good interaction. Um, I gotta make myself just come on here and come chat with you guys. I don't know how many people would take so kindly to it, but maybe at least once a month, like down at the end of the month, like how I'm doing right now, just come on and chit chat. Even if I don't have a, what I got Wednesday and it's not Wednesday. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go and get these plants put up and clean up around here. But, um, all right, if Linda says she'd love it, then it's happening, darn it, darn it. Yeah, tomorrow's October. Uh, I don't know where it went, um, and I hope it doesn't come back, to be quite honest, because 2020 has been boo-boo, it has been so boo-boo, like, mm-mm, mm-mm. We're paying for something. We're definitely paying for something. Because, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it seems like as soon as you hit, as soon as you hit the beginning of, um, end of September, beginning of October, it's like downhill. It's just a slide through the rest of the year. It's going to go so quick. We're not even going to believe it. So... Um, we got goals. I get, let's see, I've got a grand. Oh, how sweet. Do you know what it is yet? Linda? What are you having? Yes. <laughs> I've always felt that way. Oh, a boy. That's so fun. 
You know what? I always thought I wanted a little girl, but boys are so wonderful. They are, or at least mine is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak for anybody else's kid. But mine, I love him. Maybe one of these times I'll let him come in here and tear up the room with me. See my husband? Seen a metro? You know, I think I better start getting my um, tablet out so I don't miss, because I'm missing some of the conversation. Anyway, we can't sit here in silence. So uh, we're now past 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But it was really nice talking to you all. Somebody say bye to me. And we'll talk soon. I know for sure um, I'll be premiering my video. So we'll chat, do a live chat during the premiere. And then we'll see how... Yes, <laughs> I, I'm going to. The only thing is, is that you can't respond. You can't even put a laugh out loud or all right, later. No goodbyes. Later, y'all. <laughs> what is it? Deuces. <laughs>